All right, day 23, let's talk about Wreck, which I have never seen before. It is a Spanish horror movie, found footage movie, um, about a TV reporter and her cameraman in this apartment complex, and they get they get isolated in there and they can't leave. They get quarantined and something weird is going on. Is the basic plot I'll give to this. It's it's pretty basic with that in terms of that plot, but I'm not saying this movie is not awesome. This movie is really, really good. I really liked Wreck. Um, this movie did a really good job of the slow build because these characters are just basic human characters. Like, they're interesting. I like that this camera woman is just like... Or not camera woman. This um, television reporter woman. She's just really... Just wants to get, like, snippets of what's going on while she's here. And she gets impatient, and I like the fact that she's just trying to get the scoop. She's trying to figure out, what is this, what is this, and, and nobody's letting her do it. But it really builds to a good point where, like, you don't know, or she doesn't know what's going on, but whenever it's slowly revealed, it really changes her character, and I really like that. Um, this movie really reminded me of Shivers, um, which is that David Cronenberg movie from 1975, I think. Um, it reminded me of that in a way just with the premise where it's like an apartment complex, some infection is going around. Um, it's not similar aesthetically, it's just like the, the plot sounds kind of similar. So it kind of reminded me of that throughout the movie. But it also reminded me of Night of the Living Dead a little bit because there's a little girl who becomes infected and it is pretty creepy and really good. And I like that that just reminded me of that as well. And I thought this movie did a good job of Reminded me of other horror movies, but really being its own thing. Like, this one is was really, really scary and effective. It has a lot of kills in it that are off screen. But I'm totally fine with that, because this movie works very well with its lighting. Being in the dark a lot of the time, being on a camera, camera footage, um, is great. And this movie utilizes that very well. And I do like found footage movies. They're not my absolute favorite subgenre of horror. Um, like, I love Blair Witch Project, I like the Blair Paranormal Activity movies, um, Cannibal Holocaust, like, those kind of things, I like those, but it's never been a subgenre of horror that I've absolutely loved, but I think that they, when they're good, they're really good, and this one definitely fits in that category, it's a really good found footage movie, um, I did like how it doesn't show much violence to it, like, I mean, it does show some, but it's not the point of the movie. The movie is a slow burn, a build to something that you don't see coming. You don't see the, you see what the monster is, you see what the infection is, but you don't fully see the violence in a way where it's like over the top blood and guts. It's just, you see an, a second of something and then it's over. Or you see somebody running at somebody and attacking somebody and then you don't see what happens kind of thing. And I thought that that worked. Um, I also like, speaking of the little girl, um, her name is Jennifer in the movie, she is the scariest thing because it's a little kid that gets infected, and she is fantastic acting in this movie, like, that's great. Um, I also like that the movie, the ending also reminded me of Blair Witch, ending in the dark, um, which is totally fine. It worked really well with that, and I just really, really liked that this movie used, utilized all those elements very greatly like it really just surprised me and i gotta quit saying really because i noticed i'm saying that a lot but this one surprised me and I, i'm saying that again this movie was good is what i'm saying without repeating myself which i already have done a hundred times so a uh, quick review for wreck really in i enjoyed it so that is it for today day 24 tomorrow see you guys later take care